Hey, I'm Oscar with GRS Rifle Stocks. Today we're going to go through the lineup of GRS Composite Stocks and what is the difference on all three. GRS Rifle Stocks have three different composite models um, and we are... I'm going to explain today what is the difference on, uh, on the different ones. So the first one we have is the um, GRS Fenris. This is our most affordable stock. Uh, this has basically everything you need as far as ergonomics and push button adjustments and all that kind of stuff. The important thing about our, st our stocks is that, on all our stocks, that the, the, um, the grip is six degrees angled out from the core line of the stock. Reason being, if you point at something, you have a natural um, angle in your hand, and that is the exact same angle we put into our stock. This is the entry level one. Um, it is only available in gray. It's uh, available in multiple different uh, inlets, such as the Tika T3, um, the Hawa, Weatherby Vanguard. It's made for Remington 700 short and long, Savage 10 and 16s, uh, and Bergara, um, Bergara B14s, amongst others. It has all the adjustments you need. There's push button adjustments for length of pull and cheek piece. It is really important when you shoot to um, try to make your rifle fit you instead of you trying to fit the rifle and you do that with with these kinds of push buttons um, it adjusts for uh, different shooting positions normally when you shoot standing up you need a short length of pull and when you shoot lying down you need a longer length of pull and you just adjust all of this with uh, with the with the push button adjustments uh, this one is quite affordable uh, this one is available now with optics planet uh, it is available with shields there's more uh, big people uh, or big corporations coming in uh, with this one as well so this uh, uh, excellent stock, really rigid. Um, there's uh, pillar beddings inside. You don't need to do any bedding or anything. So put the rifle in, torque it up, and it's good to go. The next level is the uh, GRS Bifrost. GRS Bifrost has the same um, angle on the grip. There's rubberized uh, surfaces on both the grip area and the forehand. And it um, has a, um, a couple of more um, adjustments as well. It has the height, you can just push and adjust the height of the recoil pad. So when you shoot standing up, you want to lower that recoil pad um, to have the core line of the recoil go into your shoulder. Same thing when you shoot um, in prone, you put it up um, to get that core line of the recoil going into your shoulder higher. Uh, and then also this one has a canting mechanism, so you can um, cant it like this to get it properly into the shoulder position. A couple of other features is, is that it has a picatinny rail on the bottom. Uh, we use that for shooting with uh, the GRS bag rider and uh, shooting bags. You can mount that on there. Uh, it also has um, attachments for that same picatinny rail on the side or on the bottom if you're using um, like an Atlas bipod. Um, and you can use torches on the side. If you're hog hunting, it's nice to have a torch so when you walk up to the hog, make sure it's, um, make sure it's dead. Um, light them up before you shoot them up if you want to do that. Also, there's a mounting here for the spigot um, if you want to use our GRS bipods. So it has more features, um, the height adjustable thing, the modularity of the stock. This also is 65% fiberglass the entire center section of the stock, so you don't need to do any gloss bedding here either. So you uh, put the action in, torque it up, and it's good to go. This is our, our strongest and lightest stock um, that we produce uh, at GRS. And if we want to go all the way out, um, like we are going to do now, uh, I'm going to a shooting school um, in uh, Colorado and we're going to shoot out to 1300 meters. And what I want to do is to kind of optimize my chances of uh, hitting the target. So um, this is the GRS Varg. It's the same rear and center section as the Bifrost, but it has the, um, the tactical forehand. Um, the perfect thing about this is, is you can use our top mounted bipods. So in that case, you would take our um, GRS um, adapter, slide it on there, you would uh, attach it with the screws, and then you can use the top-mounted GRS bipod on top. So I want to maximize my chances of hitting the target, and I'm going to create or put as much um, stability as I can into the shooting position. So I'm going to use that top-mounted bipod. Um, when you have the rifle in, everything is lining up perfectly. The weight of the rifle actually self-centers the, uh, the bipod. And then when I use the bag rider and um, shooting bag at the rear, combined with uh, the adjustments of the, of the recoil pad, 
I'm introducing the the most possible stable shooting position into into my my shooting position basically. So um, it's going to be pretty interesting to see uh, how that goes. I'm, I'm fairly certain we're going to do well. Um, and then later this year, in, at the same place, we're actually going to do a hunt for our elk. So um, the goal is to uh, take one of those uh, at probably like six, seven hundred yards or something like that. So I want to test my rifle in the field where I'm going to be doing the shooting. So if you have a, this is a Savage uh, Tactical Carbon. Um, this is the 6.5 PRC rifle I used for the hog hunts last year, where we shot the um, the hog with thermals at uh, 622.8 yards. So this um, barrel action I used in the Fenris. Um, and the versatility of the product line is basically it's a good, better, best solution. So depending on how you wanna how you wanna set it up. So I used this in the in the Fenris uh, when I was uh, hunting with um, Eric and Chad at the, with the Iraq Veteran 8888. I've used this one before. Um, I used actually that one in a Tika T3 the year before, or actually in March last year uh, when we were shooting hogs the first time. And now I'm gonna be using this in in the um, GRS Varg when we go long range shooting and also hunting later this year with uh, Freddy Hartice. So I hope um, this video shows you the difference on the stocks and why you want to choose the different ones. I'd say Fenris, excellent for all round shooter. If you shoot, if you shoot um, hogs, if you do uh, whitetail and all that kind of stuff, this baby will basically set it up for you. This, even more adjustments, more stability, uh, and then the ultimate one would be the Varg. The Varg is uh, the shooting machine in, in the family, basically. You can go to uh, GeroesRaffleStocks.com, see all the models, see all the model selections, um, all the inlets that we, um, that we deliver. Uh, if there's any questions, please let us know. And thank you for uh, paying attention.